great. Now I gotta think of a punishment. More work for me. I returned very well in health. I'm feeling so much better. I still have some staples in me, but I'm appendixless. I really agree with you, Dave, that differences can make for very, very rewarding friendships. I really think it depends on what people want and choose to see as the core feature of friendship compatibility. It helps when that's really deep even though so much value still connects people. I've been caught in thought recently about this quote by Neil Gaiman or Albert Camus. I've seen it quoted to do with people. The quote is, fiction is lies which tell the truth. Even loving that which is not real still feels very real to us because we invest ourselves into the stories that we tell. And we're all human, so inevitably through creativity, we put our own humanness into the stories we tell, fiction or not. The parallel on my mind is just how fiction shows embraced values and lessons and what makes us human. The striking and often clashing differences in friendships don't have to cloud the deeper similarities in values and perspective. It's really enriching and awakening when a person that appears very unlike me sees the world and derives meaning from it in a very similar way. That lets us see what really matters most in connecting with other people. It's tied to the actions and the process and the way that people live more than it's tied to the minute details on the surface. And I realize that's a leap in stretching to empathize and care about people or even cultivate places for friendships. Ultimately, that creates and changes culture in the long run. I also really enjoy your point about the art of conversation. The fact you want to converse to converse and just catch up and learn together is really treating conversation like an art, like play, not a treating of this and that. Your hearts are fully in it. I think that giving without expectation and enjoying conversation, enjoying that process of creating it, actually makes conversation a lot easier to do and a lot easier to matter to. I think the compatibility lies in values and gratitude, not only for matched wants, but the power of connection and care. It's a thank you less focused on, thank you for getting what I wanted, that's what I expected, and more thank you of thank you for reaching out, being interested, and caring and connecting. And I think we should have as much heart in conversation that way in all our relationships that we have, even if we can't allocate the exact same amount of depth and time to every single one. It really makes me think about the important conversations I've had, even if they've only been one conversation with somebody that I still remember. Without the people that have and continue to care about me, I wouldn't be here, but I also wouldn't be me. The growing and valuing and care and connect and changing people happens in the interaction. And on that though, to some degree, you wouldn't be you without me, Dave. So I have a challenge. See, we have this mutual appreciation of puns matched. Since you went over the timeline and you've accepted it, I've decided to challenge you to make a video where you make at least one pun in every single sentence you say, or you make some kind of video to celebrate the awesomeness of puns. Nothing says we have to start off with really, really debilitating challenges. I'm excited to see that. Until I do, I'll keep on mattering, especially to myself and the people in my life. And you have a great day, Dave.